What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the buffs coming in season 22 to hand cannons in the PvE realm specifically. So I'm going to give you what my top 5 hand cannons are heading into season 22 so y'all can snag them out of your vault or maybe grind out a couple of those raids dungeons etc to snag these so we're gonna get into it first off going over this twid right here you can see increased damage against miners so those red bar enemies by 20 percent and increase against majors orange bars by 75 percent so hand cannons in pv he right here with that damage is getting absolute juice and we're getting a new hand cannon subtype in the heavy burst with the warden's law an old hand cannon from some of the strikes that we're gonna get in the gms etc so this right here will be a very good hand cannon and actually the first one on my list right here is the old warden's law hand cannon that we got from the warden of nothing strike so it is coming back like i said to the game as a new subtype in that heavy burst so we're gonna see how that is shooting two bullets at once i think it's going to be very very good in both pvp pve for that damage so very excited to get my hands on the new warden's law second on my list of hand cannons in the kinetic slot is the fate bringer time lost you can get a normal fate bringer as well but with that explosive payload and firefly this thing is super super good in general just got this roll very very much like it in crucible with opening shot explosive payload and then in pve specifically with this roll right here comes on these time lost versions but was looking for a better one so very excited again to bring this in and see what that extra damage can do and how meta these hand cannons will be third on my list we got the round robin now this is my pvp role but i do think in the pve realm this thing with that strand synergy having unraveling rounds on this etc will be super super nice especially since it does have the nanotech tracer rockets as well so that extra damage will be spread around 20 percent to red bars 75 to those orange bars again just to let you guys no and this thing with that 120 is going to be super nice with damage output and strand synergy moving on to our first exotic on the list right here we are going with the lumina hand cannon just feels good inside a pve plus we get that noble rounds where absorbing it gives us a hit fire that gives allies the noble rounds partially revealing the magazine and those noble rounds heal allies granting us some weapon damage so this thing with the addition of the 75 percent plus noble rounds in healing i think is going to be super super good for damage inside of the pve realm in season 22 now last for our kinetic hand cannons we got the malfeasance right here with that explosive shadow giving us slugs that stack depending on how many we have and all explode this can also stun unstoppable champions intrinsically and then we do have the bonus damage to taken enemies gambit invaders so those taken enemies if we have a bunch of that next season or just in general anything that we have old season activities raids etc with the taken this thing absolutely cleans up hunters with lucky pants in general this thing is nasty and is used a lot inside of the pve realm as it is so we'll get only that much better next season with that gigantic buff so first up right here we have the apocal integration for our energy hand cannons this thing feels crispy inside a crucible with keep away eye of the storm but we're talking about pve so stats for all hitting those three separate targets gives us handling stability reload and range for a short period of time with incandescent giving us a nice solar synergy on this hand cannon being able to spread scorch around 
all over the place with nanotech tracer rockets as well as harmonic resonance so we got a couple different options for origin traits as well given this some versatility for depending on the activity that we are going into and then nanotech that'll also get that nice little buff 20 percent to red bar 75 to orange bars with that little homing rocket as well Second for our energy hand cannons, we got the Void Targeted Redaction. Now this came from this season as well. It is the 120 version of the Spare Rations. This thing has some very good PvE rolls, destabilizing rounds, collective action, both very good options, especially with collecting those stasis rounds, stasis shards, I should say fire sprites void breaches whatever it may be ionic traces gives it a damage boost with that collective action so it is a very good weapon in pve right now and that 75 20 percent damage buffs that this is getting will make it even better and a lot of these are going to be crafted just because of the versatility of them to be able to switch on and off of your perks with those enhanced perks so definitely be trying to craft as many of these as you can next on the list are only exotic in the energy slot with sunshot that's a mouthful right there we got that solar synergy again it fires explosive rounds highlights targets that take damage from sunshot and they have the solar explosion with that sunshot energy. So it is going to be a very good hand cannon for solar synergy, just like Apocal integration. It does take up an exotic slot, so might not be the best for some of those GM level content, but when you gotta wipe ads in raids, even some of the other end game content, like a master strike something like that a dungeon it might be very very good with sun bracers on a warlock spreading that scorch around so i threw it on the list one of my favorite hand cannons to use you can see we got that 1500 kills on it so very fun little hand cannon to use in our energy slot next on the list is nations of beasts this is my old version that i had in the vault i haven't done it last wish in quite some time won't lie I've been very lazy with those weapons but it is an absolute beast inside a crucible and in the pve realm this is my crucible roll that i have on it from the old rolls but inside of the pve realm definitely looking for that volt shot on this thing with that arc synergy going to be wiping ads like crazy and applying that jolt is going to give us a damage boost as well so red bars orange bars aren't going to stand a chance going to be very good against champions as well with that 75 percent damage boost i truly believe why i'm making this video as well to give you guys some different options going into next season so last wish go grab this thing or pull it out of the vault if you got an old version but definitely the crafted version is what you're looking for i will be trying to grind it out this weekend coming up here and finally, what I think will be the number one hand cannon next season in the PvE realm, personally, is this Zawuli's Bane crafted with explosive payload and incandescent enhanced. This thing slaps insanely good right now. It does have a kind of slow reload speed in my personal opinion, but for this next season and going forward with these buffs coming i think it's going to be absolutely nasty in the pve realm with that solar synergy specifically also have runneth over so reloading the magazine overflows it depending on the activity when you have that raid going on and you have five four people next to you and you reload the overflow is also nasty so this combination is going to be what i think is one of the best hand cannons with nation of beast for arc for sure and then that good old void spare rations for void definitely my top three for the different burns so thank you guys for watching this hopefully you got some of these in your vault laying around and next season we will see how good and meta they are hopefully we got some mods on our artifact farm as well so we will see how that goes only a few days away at this point i truly appreciate all y'all i'll catch you guys in the next one peace